Hi, this is Michelle with Spill the Tea. So today we want to spill the tea about current events and how kids feel about it and what they think about it. So I'm going to get their, my kids' opinion, this is Georgia and Jasmine, on current events that's going on today. So, Georgia, is this something you want to talk about today? What you want to talk about? The coronavirus. The coronavirus? Alright, what you want to know about the coronavirus? I hope we are all safe and we have what we need, like food. People are trying to take the flag down, saying it's not right. Yeah, you don't think it's right? You don't think they should take the flag down? Are you proud of the flag? Yes. Yes? I'm glad you're proud of the flag. Alright, Jasmine, what is something you want to talk about today? Can we talk about TikTok? We sure can talk about TikTok. What you want to talk about TikTok? Okay, so right now, people are trying to go put against Donald Trump and everything. Like, they're trying to change the flag. There's a campaign where they're trying to change the flag. Wait, yeah, they're trying to change the flag to black and yellow. Black and yellow? Yeah, wait, the black is like this part, and the lines are yellow, and it's white. Why would they want to change it to those colors? Do you know? I don't know. Well, I might be something interesting to find out what it is that's about those colors that they want to change. And what it is about the flag that, that makes them want to change that. Do you know what that is? Why don't no. they like the flag? I don't know. Maybe because they would... I think they just want to change it to make Donald Trump mad, honestly. Right? Because they're really doing anything. Right. I'm not need to talk about it. I'm quiet. That's trying... Where every so there's this famous TikTok creator who had an idea to get everyone to make Donald Trump mad and say that he was dead. So there's like videos all over TikTok saying that the media is just not show, really showing how he's dead, but he's dead because of some rare overdose. Oh yeah. So what do you think that's real? No, no because I saw the idea. I saw the idea video. Oh, okay. So they put idea videos out there? Yeah, like, they'll, they're, people go in the comment section and give the creators ideas, and then they'll read it, and then they're like, let's do this, people. Uh, did you know that TikTok was made in China? Yeah, they actually said that at school, and at uh, news, we watched CNN 10, and they, they said it's been in China, and there was also some, like, rumors that the China people are trying to hack us or something and spy on us. Yeah. Do you believe that? I believe they are. I believe that they are using that TikTok platform to cause problems with um, people in the United States. Okay, did, what about, did you hear about uh, when he went, then, then when Donald Trump wanted to do the, the rally, and he said he had a million people that wanted to sign up, and then only 6,000 people supposedly came, and so they had TikTokers on there, so they had men on there and falsely asked for tickets so that they would think there was actually more people coming than there actually was. I could have did, and they, people kept post it, posting it saying, TikTok, we can destroy Donald Trump. They were like, they were using that as to show everyone what TikTok can do. And so, they're using it for a platform to try to destroy not only Donald Trump, but the United States. So have you ever thought about that? <laughs> no? I mean, look at all the trouble that we're having over here. So things like that kind of feed in, into... People, things on TikTok, people kind of feed into some of the drama on this channel. There's a lot of stuff happening, like, every, almost on every video you see Black Lives Matter, but then there are other types of race, race that are going on there saying that Black Lives Matter, but they're not talking about what's happening to Black Lives Matter. So people are using their voice to put that. Right. So do you believe that Black Lives Matter, or do you believe All Lives Matter? All Lives Matter. What do you think, Georgia? Always. Right. 
So you do understand why they're trying to say that only black lives matter? Is because they think that only black lives, black only black people have the biggest concern because they're being uh, because like cops and stuff or or racially profiling them and killing them. Yeah, but there's also good video on TikTok. For example, they'll actually show that how black on black crime, it isn't really, no, no one's paying attention to it. Right, there is a lot of black on black crime. Actually, there's more black on black crime, black on black crime than there is um, officer police on black crime. There's more black on black crime. There's more black people killing black people than there is bad cops making bad decisions when it comes to black people. Now, I'm not saying there's not issues there that need to be worked on. I think they are, but that's not just with black people. That's with all races. There's, there's, there's good and bad in, uh, in every race, and there's good and bad in, in law enforcement. You know? Not everybody can be perfect. You're asking for people to be perfect, and, and uh, that just doesn't happen, right? You know, TikTok actually put a video about how people need to, like, they need to give the police officers better training. And everything. Yeah, they do. But maybe sometimes we need to give people better training because, <laughs> you know, if they're going out and doing stupid things, and then they want to get upset because they get arrested, you know what I'm saying? I mean... If you hit a cop and fight them and try to take their gun and you run away and you get shot, whose fault is that? Is it the cop's fault or the person that's, that's being arrested? Is the cop's fault? It's the person that's being under, under arrested. Right. Because if they hadn't been fighting and trying to take the gun, they would have never gotten shot, right? You know, an officer has the right, in my opinion, to, you know, protect themselves. So what do you think about the, them wanting to defund the police? Well, that means that they want to take the money away from the police and not have a police department anymore and let the people um, kind of police their own areas. No, because then crime, crimes are just going to go sky high. I, I agree with that. What do you think? Do you think it would go sky high too? I believe that because now then you would have people, regular people, having carrying guns and making decisions about what is right and what is wrong and their opinion about what is right and what is wrong might not be the same as yours and then you got conflicts and then you we have people killing each other. It's kind of like the purge. Right. Oh what was the purge? What was the purge? It's like where you can, like, you pretty much can do anything you want. Right. Do you think everybody should be able to do anything they want? No? I don't think we should be able to do this anything. This world wouldn't either. be here today if that's how it went. Yeah, you're right. The world wouldn't be here today if we could just all do what we wanted to do. There would be a lot of people killed. People would be hungry. We'd be extinct. Yes, we would be extinct. You're right. That is exactly right. So, what do you feel about them saying always, you see it on TV about, you know, uh, white people are the only bad race, right? They want to take down, like, uh, Abraham. Well, not not that. Like, they want to take off everything that has to do with white people. Well, white, like a toothpaste. They want to take the words whitening and lightning and everything off of toothpaste, right? Because it associates with white people, right? So, do you think that's fair for white people? Don't you think that's racist? Maybe. Um, if they're calling out one certain race, and honestly, so most of them are being more racist than us. Right, I agree. 
I agree. Most of the people that are making all these accusations are more racist than we are. Uh, I don't consider myself to really be racist, but I think that everybody, everybody is a racist to a point. Yeah, that's uh, true. And it's not just white, it's white. You know, it's every race. Every race is racist to a point. But we all have to come together and learn how to live together, you know. Mm-hmm. We have our own communities. And, uh, we have to learn to, to grow together and, and just be better people. What was your next question? Next thing you want to talk about? Okay, well, it seems like people are getting more and more careless as the coronavirus goes on because it's just been so long. Right. Well, that's true. I do think people are getting more careless. Um, but you have two different areas. You have the Democrats who think that we should be wearing a mask all the time, right, to protect ourselves. And then you have the Republicans that are saying, oh, it's just a virus. It's no different than getting, um, you know, the flu. So we're going to get it one way or another. There's no reason to wear a mask. We're just um, prolonging the... Uh, from getting the virus. Yeah, I already see like my friends spending night with other people. Yeah. So, I can see where in regular population, how they might want to go ahead and, and get it out there and get it and get it over with and hope they survive it. But when you have people like me who have MS and then I take the, a crevice and it, it uh, kills my B cells and that makes me immunosuppressed, right? That makes me more susceptible to something happening to me and me not being able to handle COVID-19 and then I could have, it, it can cause dire circumstances for me, right? So if you didn't wear a mask and you went out somewhere and you got COVID-19, right? And it might not be bad for you. And then Georgia goes out and get COVID-19 and it might not be bad for her, but you brought it home to me what you think would happen? It could kill me, right? So, we have to think about the other people that are around us. I think that's what a lot of people are forgetting. Right. They don't think about the other the other people around them. And, uh, I don't think that, I mean, they look at the number, what is that, the 153,000 people have died um, in the United States alone. And they make, make like, that's not a big deal. That's 153,000 people that didn't have to die. So, do you think the coronavirus come from China? You do? Do you think it was a man-made virus? I believe that all the way. Yeah? Have you heard anything, like, on TikTok about that? What have you heard? I've heard that coronavirus is made in a lab. Like, it was just like name the lab, you know, and then I heard that it could be used as like a weapon to try to stop things, but it just got out of hand. Right. And so, you know that every country um, have what they call uh, biological weapons, right? And they make all these diseases and they usually keep them in um, a clinical environment so they can't get out, that can do all kinds of things to hurt um, people during the war. Alright, so I believe that China made something like that and it did get out. I think that's what it's about. But I think that we had it over here far earlier than we believed that we did. I believe it was in China far earlier than they let it, people know about it too. And plus the fact that they tried to hide it just is even more suspicious. Right. Why would they try to hide it? The thing is, if they had let us all know ahead of time, you know, when it first started, there's a possibility we could have kept it secluded right there in that area and not be all over the world. We and have far more lives saved. That's right. There's a lot of people died from it. So what else you want to talk about? Um, I gotta look at my paper. Go ahead. Looking at birds. Is it, that's called a cardinal. Okay. How about 
in the Bible of the prophecies are being filled. Alright. So, what you want to talk about that? Pretty much, they're all over TikTok. There's a bunch of Christian TikTokers in there. And they're showing all these prophecies that have been filled. And that you, but you just need to hurry and get saved because he's coming back any day now. Yeah. Well, the people thought about that for a long time. But there are more things happening now that go along with, with revelations. Um, you know, the Bible says that there will be wars and rumors of wars and there will be diseases and there will be floods and there will be earthquakes and uh, volcano eruptions and just all kind of things. And so we have to look at here's a pestilence. we got this virus that's killing people, right? And then at the beginning of 2020, at the very beginning, we had a rumors of World War III. Yeah, they were talking about war, and they're still talking about war. Um, that's something that's been talked about for quite some time now. Um, we'll also have Antichrist that's going to come and make it seem like he's the best thing that ha could possibly happen to the world. And so, I mean, to be honest, you know, and who is that? I mean, we all think that Donald Trump is really great, and, and he has been really great. He's really done more for people than anybody else, but that gives you a little bit of that, something to think about, right? Also, um, we've had a lot of floods going on lately. We've had our weather's been crazy. It was much cooler for much longer this year, right? And now, all of a sudden, it is just boiling hot, but it, this is... Okay. Well, that's everything for today with um, Spill the Tea. And I think we spill the tea about a lot of things, don't y'all? So, till next time, we got you up to date, and we'll see you later. And don't forget, have some tea. Bye, mm -hmm. <laughs>